all of us to ensure that the state in all of its forms no longer fails survivors of CSE. Their past is something they are forced to confront every day of their lives through the painful trauma which never leaves them and which many simply cannot escape. Their bravery in the face of all that has happened to them is humbling. But, Mr Speaker, these victims are not only forced to live with their trauma, but also convictions linked to their sexual exploitation in childhood. They are blighted by an obligation to disclose criminal convictions linked to past abuse, forced to tell employers and even local PTAs about their past convictions. This punitive rule means they simply cannot escape a past in which they were victims. I understand, Mr Speaker, your ruling that we are unable to refer uh, to cases of subjudice, so Sammy will not mind me referring to her rec record, which includes possession of an offensive weapon and a fray, both explicitly linked to her grooming. When she was 15, police raided the property of now-convicted serial rapist Arshid Hussain. Sammy was half-naked and hiding under his bed. Hussain was not detained, but Sammy was arrested and charged. She was a victim of exploitation and is now forced to disclose her criminal convictions, crimes she committed only through her exploitation. Now, judges in the High Court have already ruled that forcing victims of CSE to disclose past convictions linked to that CSE is unjust. They argued any link between the past offending and the assessment of present risk in a particular employment is either non-existent or, at best, extremely tenuous. So can I ask the Minister what is the Government's position specifically on records disclosure of CSE survivors? One of the single biggest tasks of this Parliament and society is to create an environment where victims of child sexual exploitation are given the best possible chance at not allowing their past abuse to define them. And will the Minister consider bringing forward what is known as Sammy's Law uh, the rights of victims of CSE to have their criminal records automatically reviewed and crimes associated with their grooming removed. At present, anyone has a right to apply to the Chief Constable of their force area to have their records reviewed, but this right is little known, and surely there must be a specific case in these circumstances. Child sexual ex exploitation is fundamentally about an imbalance of power to coerce, manipulate and deceive. It is that imbalance of power which leads many victims to commit crimes relating to their exploitation. I know the Minister will agree that it cannot be right that they are forced to live with the consequences of that exploitation for the rest of their lives. Well, I thank uh, the Honourable Member for her urgent question, and she knows because we have um, discussed this uh, behind the scenes on many occasions. Um, the uh, concerns, the um, feelings, the sympathy that I and the Home Secretary have for uh, victims of child sexual exploitation and abuse. Uh, she knows that this Government has done more than any other to tackle child sexual abuse and exploitation, and indeed, um, through the setting up of uh, institutions such as the Independent Inquiry into Child Sexual Abuse, uh, the Prime Minister, when she was Home Secretary, sought to uncover the terrible, terrible hidden uh, nature of these crimes. We know also from uh, experiences as in Rotherham, of course, and I, I note that the Honourable Member for Rotherham is in her place, uh, I've seen for myself the, the vital work that is uh, happening on a local basis to support victims and to bring the perpetrators of these terrible crimes to justice. Now, I'm afraid as a matter of timing, I am not able to comment on individual cases at this moment in time, but uh, the Government is considering the case, the Supreme Court judgment, very carefully, uh, and uh, I'm not in a position, sadly, to comment on other aspects of the urgent question, uh, but I do draw to the House's attention the fact that we have uh, acknowledged, I think, as a society that uh, children who uh, present initially as suspects, that uh, the police and others must ask questions so as to see whether there is more to the picture that is presented to them in the immediate circumstances um, than um, uh, is perhaps suggested. I'm sure we all agree with that, uh, and, uh, and so that is why I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity to reiterate that. Thank you.